Spirit Sports Consultants presents our weekly NFL picks. This week features some really great matchups. Here with more details, we turn it over to our analyst team. Gentlemen, what do we have for the week? Let's start with the Titans and the Steelers. Kenny Pickett is expected to start Thursday night, bringing the Steelers' offense back on par. The Titans' offense looked phenomenal, with rookie Will Levis leading the show, throwing a lot of deep balls to DeAndre Hopkins. We thought Will Levis was a top-10 pick. But for this one, we like the Steelers 21-17. We feel like Mike Tomlin and that Pittsburgh defense, and especially the pass rush, is going to give a rookie fits and should be able to keep the scoring down on the Titans' side. Take Pittsburgh here, 21-17. Looking at the odds, we got the Steelers favored by two and a half. Total numbers are really low, 36 and a half. We're going to go with the Steelers here as our best play, minus two and a half. We know Will Levis looked great last week, but a rookie quarterback going up against a Mike Tomlin pass rush and defense, we don't think so. Go Steelers. Dolphins and the Chiefs, and as a fan of offensive football, who isn't? We've got to look forward to this game. It's being played in Frankfurt, Germany. The Dolphins had a good game yesterday against New England, beating them by 14 points. The Chiefs struggled against the Broncos. I heard the announcer describe it as kind of a trap game, and I think it was. They really weren't prepared for the Broncos. I think they were doing what I call as a look-ahead game, looking forward to this matchup with the Dolphins. Statistically, the offenses are fairly even, with the Dolphins having a slight edge, but from the experience and trust factor, you have to give Mahomes the edge slightly. Defensively, the Chiefs have the edge, and that's why I'm going to give them the slight 27-24 pick. Watch Jalen Ramsey closely, though. He's already impacted that defense to a positive. Let's see if he can do more against Mahomes. All right, looking for the Lions for this Frankfurt-Germany game. Kansas City minus 1.5. That has dropped from 2.5. We're going to make Kansas City minus 1.5 our best play. Curious to see if the Dolphins' defense can stabilize. We think they're going to be in the upswing for the rest of the season. Vikings and the Falcons, and Vikings were dealt a tough hand, losing Kirk Cousins for the season to a torn Achilles, but moved quickly to shore up that position, signing the overachieving Josh Dobbs from the Arizona Cardinals. The Falcons have made a quarterback change of their own, going with Taylor Heineke as a starter over Desmond Ritter, and we like the Falcons here 27-17. We love what Heineke did in the second half of the game against the Titans. Really led the team well. Look at the Lions here. We have the Falcons favored by 4.5. Totals 35.5. Best play for us is the Falcons minus 4. Try to stay off that key number. And before we continue, if you would, just join our channel. And if you like this video or find it useful, like it and then subscribe. We provide weekly NFL picks, highlights, and sports travel. Thank you. All right, looking at week eight results with the Monday night game coming in for us. The Lions didn't look like they were going to cover, but they did. So that pushes us over to 12-3. and three. Tough losses to note, really, the 49er game. We got caught off. Off guard by that one. Is that slump for real or is that something they can bounce back from? We're not so sure, but a good week for us with 12 and 3. Seattle at Baltimore. Seattle having to go all the way from the Pacific Northwest to the East Coast to face Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. Love this statistic. Lamar Jackson is now 16 and 1 against teams from the NFC. We can't see that changing here. We think the Seahawks, although 5-2, and two, have a lot of things to work on. Geno Smith did not look in sync with his receivers, and even though they beat Cleveland, they really should not have. Cleveland committed an unfortunate turnover, kind of a lucky fluke bounce within the final two minutes of the game. So for this one, we'll go with this. No, wrong bird. We're going to go with the Ravens in this game. We think Lamar is going to be too much. We take the Ravens here 27-17 over the Seahawks. In addition to Lamar Jackson's advantage against the NFC, we see the Ravens having a few more advantages. Seahawks are a passing team going from a turf surface to a grass field, having to come all the way to the Pacific Northwest to the East Coast. So we like the Ravens minus 5.5 as our best play here for this game. Next up, we have the Cardinals or the Browns. In our opinion, these are two teams that overachieved last week. The Cardinals, what a great finish. They covered the spread, didn't win the game, and they were going against a better team in the Ravens. Browns should have had the game. That unfortunate turnover deflection and the fluke tip drill kind of interception. God, I feel bad for them. For this one, we think it's going to be 24-20 Browns, but a lot of unknowns at the quarterback position here on both sides. Look at the lines. We have the Browns favored by eight, eight and a half in some circles, 36 and a half for the totals number. We're going to set the best play as Cardinals plus eight and a half. It's a big number. Browns, uh, it looks like Deshaun's not going to play again. And for the Cardinals, we can have an unknown impact with Kyler Murray or Clayton Toon starting. They're both really good quarterbacks. They should be able to cover that spread. 
Rams at the Packers. Matthew Stafford is out. That thumb injury is fairly significant. So we're going to have Brett Rippon going up against Jordan Love, who really didn't look all that great against the Vikings last week. Maybe with a back-to-back home game, he can come back from that and have a better showing, especially against the shorthanded Rams. So we'll go with the Packers here, 24-21. Look at the lines here. we got the Packers favored by three. Totals numbers 38.5. We'll go with the Packers, again, buying down that 2.5 or shopping to get that number. Buccaneers at the Texans. you got Baker Mayfield against C.J. Stroud. For me, I, I trust C.J. Stroud a little bit more, although Baker has been exceeding expectations pretty much week after week. But we notice a trend with the Buccaneers. They tend to exploit weak defenses. That would include Buffalo because of their injuries. They're weaker than they would have been. Texas have been very consistent all season. We like them taking this in 24-20, especially back home. Indoors, controlled conditions. Go with the Texans on this one. A quick look at the latest odds has the Texans favored by two and a half. The totals number comes in at 40.5. And we think for this one, the Texans being at home against the grass team, Tampa Bay, we like Texans minus two and a half for the play here. Commanders at the Patriots. And early in this week in our play, we had the Patriots winning this one by three. Um, that was before the big trades. Now Chase Young and Montez Sweat are no longer a threat on, on the defensive line. That was probably an area of weakness for the Patriots, blocking those guys with a relatively unathletic Mac Jones quarterback. We're still going to say the Patriots by three, but we do think the loss of Chase Young and Montez Sweat is going to be apparent, and maybe the psyche as well as the commander is a little bit let down after trading two of their better players. Looking at the odds here, we got the Patriots minus three. We've seen some fluctuation, and that one might bounce to three and a half. We really think the best play here is if you can get that line down. We like to get off the three key number, buy down, or shop around to get it to two and a half for the best play. Bears at the Saints. The Saints' offense is sluggish all year, but they have looked great for the past five quarters. Can that continue? We think it can with Derek Carr finally being in sync with those receivers. Got Alvin Kamara back. They're more diverse. Going to be back home. We like them taking this one 28-21. And, oh, yeah, they've got a phenomenal pass defense. So with that, we like the Saints over the Bears on this game. And looking at the numbers, the Saints are favored by 7.5. The number's a little high. Total number's 41. I think the best play here is the Saints, but you want to get off that 7.5. We don't like that hook. Get it down to 7. Buy down if you have to. Colts at the Panthers, and we already touched on this earlier. We ignored the Panthers' past defense numbers against the Texans and went with the Texans in our pick. We should have seen that. So with those past defense numbers against a pass-heavy team in the Colts, especially a quarterback that's turnover-prone, we have to go with the Panthers here, 24-21. We're not sure if Bryce Young is quite there yet. He had a pretty good game against the Texans. Still has some improvement to make, but we think there are holes in the Colts' defense that can be exploited too, similar to what the Saints did last week. So take the Panthers on this one. Look at the lines here. We've got the Colts minus 2.5, totals 44.5. We think that 2.5 is a trap. I think Vegas knows the Panthers are better, and they want you to take that because it's favorite friendly. Go with the Panthers here, plus three. Giants at the Raiders. Lots of drama in Vegas this week with Josh McDaniels being fired and Jimmy G being benched. So the Raiders are going to go with Aiden O'Connell, who really dazzled in preseason. We saw a couple of his games. Looked really, really good. They just couldn't deal with the Jimmy G turnover factor anymore. We like the Raiders here 24-17. Even if Daniel Jones comes back, we think it'll take him a while to go back into form. And then Saquon can only do so much. And Saquon and Josh Jacobs kind of balance each other out. So look at the Lions here. The Raiders minus 1.5. We take in the totals number 37.5. We like the Raiders here minus 1.5 despite the quarterback uncertainty. We think what they've got is better than what the Giants have at that position. Cowboys at the Eagles, and despite the fact the Eagles are 7-1 and one, the Cowboys are 5-2, and two, these teams are almost exactly even. In fact, the Cowboys have a better point differential of 77 to the Eagles 52. Look at their average score. They're the same. Average allowed. The Cowboys are four points better. But with, like the Eagles here as the home team, 27-24, but watch this one closely. Look for injury reports. See if there's any edge one way or another. These teams are that close. Looking at the odds, we've got the Eagles favored by an even three. Totals number is 46. For us, the best play is get off that three, get down to two and a half, and take the Eagles.
The Bills and the Bengals in a rematch of last year's divisional playoff, which the Bengals won decisively at Buffalo 27-10. But we're not going to overreact to that or last week's game over the 49ers because we saw, looked at that a little closer. And a lot of the, the scoring there were 49er mistakes. We're still going to take the Bengals here 24-21 because we're not sure that the Bills are quite 100% yet. If this were, were to be a playoff rematch and the Bills were 100%, we might lean towards the Bills. But in this case, we will go with the Bengals. But it should be close in a playoff type game. Looking at the odds, the Bengals Bengals are favored by one and a half. The totals 49.5. We think the best play is the totals under 49.5. Last time these two teams played 27 to 10 in the playoff round. Go with the under. And finally, we have the Monday night game, the Chargers at the Jets. Both of these teams coming off victories in week eight. The Chargers finally put it together on offense, exploiting the Bears' weaker than average defense. The Jets with that lucky win over the Giants. Man, if that referee hadn't spotted the ball, they wouldn't have been able to, to stop it. We like the Chargers here 27-20. to 20. We think that their offense is finally starting to click. They need to start getting on a roll if they have any shot of making a wild card or contending for the AFC West. So we'll take the Chargers here. And looking at the odds, we got the Chargers favored by three. Total number is 40 and a half. I think the best play on this one is get that line down to two and a half, as we always recommend, and take the Chargers. If not, do money line. That's all for this time. Thank you for joining. Please subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to sharing our future videos with you.